Hello, friends, Romans, countrymen, loved ones. I wanted to report to you some things that happened today that were interesting to me. It's my job. It's my job to do so, to keep you informed. I do re get requests for such information occasionally from people. RJ, how are you? So, this is, this is how I am. Today, <coughs> sorry, lingering cough, very annoying. Today, I was woken by a loud buzzer of some kind. Uh, I didn't quite know what was going on. I'd never heard this, this buzzing before. Uh, it stopped. So I figured, okay, um, you know, if it was a fire alarm or something, it wouldn't, wouldn't stop. So I decided that uh, perhaps someone was attempting to get a hold of someone else and had pressed the wrong key. Uh, because who, who even knows that I'm here? Uh, very few people could locate me on the face of the earth, really, right now if they needed to. So. I went back to sleep. I mean, you know, what are you going to do? And and as I got home tonight, and this was probably about an hour ago, I was sorting through my laundry. That's another story completely. I was sorting through my laundry and just so I could go and put some down in the machine downstairs, and I heard that buzzing again. And so I took action this time. Being awake helped. I went down to the place where people buzz, apparently, uh, the, the door that's locked, and there was no one there. And so I thought, well, maybe it's something different, you know, something entirely different, you know, altogether. I mean, I don't really know. I don't know the inner workings. I just, <laughs> I've lived here for a little while. It's my home. It's my temp home. And, but I don't know everything. So I let it go. And then, <clears throat> probably again ten minutes later, as I was sorting through my clothes again, deciding what needs to be washed right now, I heard the buzz a third time. And so, this time, I threw everything that I had on the ground and raced to where that spot was. And there was kind of a big guy standing there, beard, glasses, and he pointed at me. And I stood there, and he motioned for me <coughs> to open the door, and he showed me this package. He showed this to me through the glass, and I thought, I'll investigate. So I opened the door a little bit, and I, he said, what is your name? Sort of an interrogatory, you know. Uh, it wasn't a friendly, what's your name? It was a, what is your name? And sort of Monty Python-like. And so I said, well, it's, it's Rhonda Redden. That's my, that's my full birth name, for those of you who didn't know. And he said, you are a very naughty girl. And I thought, you've known me for ten seconds. How would you know that? What? Um, so uh, he said that... Uh, he, he asked me why my name was not on the buzzer outside. I don't, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I got here uh, January 7th or 8th. It's, it's February 22nd today. And I, I know barely more than I did on that day uh, about what is supposed to go on and the accommodations, all of this. I, I know so little, really. So <clears throat> I just smiled and I said, well, I'll, you know, I'll try to try to get that done. And he asked me how long I'd be here. I said, well, not for very much longer. And uh, just seemed to really be very pointed about that uh, detail. And then he wanted to, I mean, he was telling me all about himself. Uh, he's the manager, apparently, of these people who deliver these DHL. Uh, DHL, that's what I know about that, was the name of the place, and, um, he's apparently the manager, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> he also explained to me that my room number is 705, but the German 7 and the American 7 are not the same. 
The uh, American 7 looks like the German 1, so that's problematic. And then my name not being on the buzzer, uh, apparently this man hunted me down. Uh, he, he googled my name on the internet to, to try to find me today to get me this package. Um, thanks Ryan for the package. It's, uh, it's the second piece of mail that I have received over here and um, makes me feel loved. I am so grateful to get these little things from home documents, mail. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, everyone else sort of has parents to look after their mail and their things, and I don't have that, but I have the best friends in the world, and, uh, and so thank you again, Ryan, for getting this to me. It was full of, you know, bills and announcements and, you know, cards of some kind, and it was all very important stuff, so it was just an adventure. It was an adventure <coughs> being uh, talked to for my behavior. Uh, you know, not having my name on the bill. It was uh, just the whole thing. And uh, and now I also have a clothes in the wash. Let me just talk to you about the wash. It's, you know, there's, uh, there's a whole process there. The only words in English in the entire room instruct you that the washroom is only open between this time and this time. Everything else, like instructions, it's all in German. There's some pictures, but the pictures don't relate to what's going on with the machines. That, that, that's been very hard for me. The pictures show like this little faucet you're supposed to turn on and uh, and then there's a machine that charges our, you know, our student card uh, money every time we throw in a load. And uh, yeah, I, you have to push the number, you have to push the machine, you have to push the number again. There's a green button, there's a red button, there's a dance. It's pretty crazy. So, you know, I have kind of resorted to doing just sort of one load at a time and just the things that really need to be done and usually I bring them up and throw them on the radiator here because uh, it's cheaper and I don't have to stand there and try to figure out what's going on with the dryers um, so it saves a lot of time anyway I'm gonna study now I'm gonna study data mining which is as boring as it sounds algorithms they're important. They're mathy. And, uh, you know, I can get through math. It's not my strength, uh, but I can get through it. I just don't, you know, usually know how I did it once I do it. At any rate, I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, I am beginning my preparations for leaving Braunschweig. We are going to Berlin on next Monday. Today is, what is today? Today's Tuesday. So I've got six more days here. So I'm beginning my preparations to uh, pack up all my crap and get on the road again. And it does not seem like I've been here long. It, it feels like I may have gotten here about a week ago, but uh, you know, there have been many adventures since then. There have been, there's been lots of stuff. There's been some growth. There's been some, some harrowing experiences. There's been a lot of lostness, uh, a lot of foundness, and a lot of doing things I would never do, um, and and thought that I could never do alone. And I've loved it. So I look forward to more of this, much more of it in Austria. And I thank you for listening. Goodbye.